This program is proudly sponsored by Mamas. Mamas, the best, naturally. I'm wondering, who are your role models? Who inspires you? I think it's time that the community sees more positive women making a positive change so that we all blossom together. I have the wonderful Gwen with me. Gwen is a special woman who I care about deeply. I'm Gwen, like Lynette has said, I'm the founder of Alive Albinism Initiative, an organization that looks out for persons with albinism here in Zimbabwe. And I've also worked internationally, regionally with different organizations which looks out for persons with albinism. I understand that you've started artwork. Could you please tell me more about that? It's a fairly new project where I'm trying to, to, to tell, you know, ordinary stories in unique ways. We are so used to ordinary things that when yeah. we get to, to see unique things, we get to question. Like, why does Gwen have albinism? She is black parents and she's white, but it just means it's a genetic condition. Albinism is a genetic condition. So with my artwork, I'm just trying to say, you will be able to see that I have blue flowers, I have red flowers, yellow flowers. I'm just trying to, to show the uniqueness of things. So to young women, internationally and local, I believe that, you know, I always say that women rights are human rights and they should be treated as such. So it starts with, with, with when, when the girl is still young. As a family, as a community, we should be able to instill confidence in that young lady. Mm -hmm. So that when she grows up to be a woman, she will, be not, be, she will not be hesitant. She will not be afraid of knocking on doors. She, so to the young women there, I say, just, you know what? I know the world is so, we always think that it favors men. And yeah, it is like that. Mm -hmm. So for us, we have to be confident enough. We have to be bold enough to make those decisions. We should be able to, to go through and challenge and you know our rightful places, be it in the political spaces, societal spaces, we should be bold enough to challenge. And also for, for myself as a woman with a disability, as a single mom, I'm raising my kids single-handedly, of course with support from my family. But it's not it's not it's not easy. So to the women out there, whether you're a single mom, you know, you are a married woman, you know, just chase after your dreams. I just changed my clothes and got my makeup done because something fancy is happening tonight. I'll meet three ladies, three beautiful ladies that are models under the Miss Albinism Zim Trust. I think you guys will enjoy listening to their stories. Come along. How has the Miss Albinism Trust helped you on your journey? Well, Brenda and Miss Albinism Trust have really pushed me because they make you like go beyond your limits. Yeah. They want to see you expand and grow. So it's not just about modeling, but it's about growing as a person as well. My name is Brenda Mutzimu. I'm the founder and director of the Miss Albinism Zimbabwe Trust. I'm the project coordinator of African Union for Persons with Albinism. I'm also the uh, the uh, project coordinator of African Union for Persons with Albinism. I started the Miss Albinism in Zimbabwe in 2017, that's where it was legally registered and I held the first ever Miss, Miss Albinism in 2018 and in 21 it is going to be the third edition which will include male models as well. I can't stop looking at your fro girl, that afro is nice, can you tell us uh, maybe some tips that you use to maintain your afro? I just uh, plate my hair every night and then when I'm combing my hair I just use my water, my oil and my conditioner. That, that's just all. So what advice would you like to give other young girls that aspire to be like yourself? They should be excellent in everything they do. Mm -hmm. uh, as Oprah Winfrey said, excellence is the best deterrent to prejudice. To all the young girls, just don't stop believing, go after your dreams, the sky is the limit. Don't let what people do or say stop you. I mean, there's a huge, huge world out there and it's there for us to explore. We all dare to dream. We want to show the world that we dare to dream regardless of our colour. In, in the work sector, in their personal lives, they have to bring their A game and be excellent. I, I hope for a society that um, judge people by their uh, character, not skin color. 
This program was brought to you by Mamas. Mamas, the best, naturally. naturally. naturally.